guys, happy Tuesday, welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I am fully aware that we are currently smack dab in the middle of July, basically. <laughs> We're in the middle of summer. Uh, but I am here today to talk to you about fall, fall candles, fall smells. <laughs> I have a fall candle haul to share. So um, yeah, don't get your pantaloons in a bunch. Uh, yeah, I know that summer is still here and 100% um, I am one of those people that likes to rush summer because I hate it. I hate this season. It's the worst. Like for example today, it's 95 degrees. It's hot. Why would I like being hot? <laughs> I don't like being hot. I hate, I think it's the worst. I don't like it. Um, so I, uh, my favorite season is for sure the fall. Um, you still have some nice warm days in the fall typically, and you still get some sunny days, but I, I am one of those, I love the rain. I love it when it is gloomy and dreary. Um, I love being inside and just kind of looking out at the rain, um, having all of my delightful pumpkins just all around me, um, and enjoying the smells of fall because is there anything more delicious than the smells of fall probably the holiday smells but they're pretty close <laughs> they're pretty close so today's haul is a homeworks fall candle haul for the most part although I did pick up a couple of the new quote-unquote holiday scents from QVC so um, just an FYI here purchased all these myself um, this is not a P PR haul or anything. Um, the candles from QVC came in a set of two. Um, I only bought one of each of the fall candles that I was interested in from the Homeworks website. Mm -hmm. By the way, I do want to familiarize you guys with a recent change that Homeworks made in their loyalty rewards program and being able to combine that with influencer or um, like discount codes that are floating around. Um, you're no longer going to be able to do that going forward. I don't think this is going to be a super popular change for homeworks. Um, I mean, I feel like, you know, businesses have to make certain choices. And so this was a choice that they made where you either have to pick your rewards that you earned on previous purchases or your favorite influencers discount code. Um, you can no longer do both at the same time. Um, I think that they were probably saw, they probably saw a lot of stacking going on of, um, you know, rewards points and then, um, discount codes. And well, when people do that, it does cut into company's profits. Um, and so, you know, I think they had to look at that and kind of make a tough choice. And so going forward, the policy is you are actually able to use um, a, an influencer's discount code on a purchase of $40 or more. It used to be you had to spend $60 or more to qualify for the 10% off. I think what you need to think about in the future going forward when shopping with Homeworks is what's greater. My rewards points, um, is that going to give me a bigger discount or is a 10% off going to give me a bigger discount? You'll just kind of have to figure that out. And it might change, you know, every time you make a purchase. If you are obviously out of rewards points, use a discount code from an influencer. Um, if you have a ton of reward points and you're able to get like 20 bucks off or whatever, um, and that is greater than 10%, then obviously do that. So, but I just kind of wanted to familiarize you guys with that new um, policy change that they made. I will link it in the description box down below. So if you are a frequent homeworks.shop shopper, I would say familiarize yourself with that new policy. Um, I do believe that it is in effect as of now. So um, that being said, um, let's get into the fun stuff here. I will put links to where I got these things in the description box down below. I will put my discount code for you if you, if you don't have enough reward points, but you're looking for a little bit of a discount, feel free to use it. Um, otherwise, use your loyalty points. If you've earned them and it's a bigger discount for you, use that. So um, I'm going to start with, you know what? I'm going to start with what I picked up from QVC since I only picked up a couple things from there so far. 
Fun fact, you guys, I completely, completely slept through the TSV from this last weekend. I woke up at, I think it was like 9 or 9.30 on Sunday. I slept in. Stella was at a friend's house, and so I just slept in because I wanted to. <laughs> and neither of the dogs woke me up to eat breakfast early, so I just slept. And I figured I would definitely have enough time um, to get up and order my, I wanted another Christmas cappuccino, and I definitely wanted another peach gingerbread uh, sold out before I even had a chance to get up. So that was really shocking. Um, I really thought they had enough to get through the entire day, but there you have it. You will not see a TSV haul for me because there were none to be had by the time that I woke up. So congratulations if you have those TSV coming, TSV candles coming to you. Enjoy them, there's some yummy options in there. All right. I did pick up the eggnog, uh, eggnog French toast. I had the cinnamon French toast before, and that is quite lovely. So I was kind of curious about this eggnog French toast, and it does not disappoint. I am actually thinking that this, for me, could either be a fall or a holiday scent. I do feel like, are these snowflake? I cannot for the life of me figure out if these are supposed to be snowflakes or ferns or um, like pine boughs on here. I, you could go, you could go any of those directions. Um, but man, this smells good. Totally either a fall or holiday scent for me. It's just a really nice gourmand. Um, so our notes here are holiday eggnog, rum soaked French toast, yum. By the way, I don't smell the rum on cold sniff. Cinnamon sugar and vanilla cream. Really lovely, really delicious, big fan. In fact, if more of this is still available, by the time that I finish my first two that I got in my set of two, I will link these down below in the description box as well. They're still available as of right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I would totally purchase another set of this. Like if I got through my first two, and I was like, I'm still craving some of this for the current season. I'll totally purchase it. Just based on cold sniff, it's delicious. I feel like, oh, now I can get a little tiny bit of that rum. If I'm just smelling it, like from this tiny little opening, I smell a little bit of that rum. Interesting. But when I like full on stick my nose in it from the top, I don't smell the rum. That's fascinating. But there is that nice like cinnamon sugar note in here. There is a beautiful creamy vanilla. Um, and there is an eggnog. Yeah, there's definitely eggnog in here. Oh, I love eggnog. I get really excited at the beginning of November when the Dairy Gold um, eggnog comes out. <laughs> I always buy like the full fat one. And then I have like... A little tiny bit of it and I think whoa this is so rich <laughs> but I love I love the smell of eggnog it smells absolutely delightful okay this one I had a lot of questions about comparing this to the Christmas cappuccino like they're totally different scents they're they're not anything remotely the same so your notes here are whipped mascarpone which is a type of cheese mascarpone cheese is it mascarpone or mascarpone cheese i think it's mascarpone um espresso lady fingers and vanilla bean it really does smell like a really nice tiramisu but this one is kind of light on cold sniff so i'm very curious to see if over the next like couple of months because i don't think i'm gonna burn this one for a little while i mean i might do like a couple of quick burns just to see if it transforms while it's lit but i am nowhere near ready to start lighting fall candles right i gotta be honest with you guys it's gonna be really hard for me to review these <laughs> Because I just, I don't like burning out of season. Um, I'm a very, very seasonal burner. As much as I love the fall, I cannot burn fall candles in the spring or the summer. It just doesn't feel right to me. 
but I'll try to get through at least a couple burns each of these and then I'm gonna let them rest until I'm ready to transition over to fall in September. This one's pretty, it's pretty light on cold sniff, but it's delicious from what I can smell. I feel like I really do get that lady fingers note. There is a little, a little bit of espresso in here, but this is not heavy on the coffee note at all. And there's a definite creaminess, which I think could be either from the whipped mascarpone cheese and the vanilla, or the vanilla, or maybe a combination of the both. Probably a combination of both. It's really delightful. I uh, I do like this one. I'm a little concerned with how light it is on cold sniff. I think the um, the eggnog French toast is a little bit uh, stronger on cold sniff. So, all right, let us discuss this. <laughs> so I believe this is uh, amaretto pumpkin, but repackaged and renamed um, toasted vanilla pumpkin. I really like the Amaretto Pumpkin. I originally only had it in the um, light gray ceramic pumpkin, pumpkin that came out. It wasn't last year. I think it was actually from the year before. So beautiful. Absolutely delicious. It smells so good, you guys. This one smells amazing. Oh, it's so yummy. Okay, your notes here are... Vanilla cream, spiced pumpkin, cardamom, and tonka bean. This is really, really yummy on the, like, cardamom note. It's just so beautiful. And that tonka bean really is something that pops in this one. Tonka is, like, a vanilla, but, like, to me it smells like a, like a muskier vanilla, it's just, it's, it's really, pr you have to stick your nose in this one. I feel like this is one where when most people smell this, they'll probably go, that smells really yummy. It almost smells edible. It's really delicious. I already know that I like this scent from its first iteration, so I'm pretty sure this will be fabulous burning. But yeah, I'll, do, I'll like this one. I'll let you know if burning, if it smells, um the same as the original as well. All right, so this one I believe is new. This is Spiced White Pumpkin. This I really like this one. I know a lot of people don't really like white pumpkin a lot of times. I think a lot of people think that it smells a little bit more perfumey. Um, I don't think this smells perfumey at all. This smells very gourmand to me. It, this smells delicious. Um, so this says white pumpkin, cinnamon bark, white maple and sugared vanilla. First off, I was a little bit intimidated by the maple because maple to me is kind of like mint and caramel where it has to be done just right for me to enjoy it because otherwise I just don't like maple. Um, it's way too sweet for me. Um, yeah, not a fan, not a fan at all usually, but this is a very light maple note. It's very light on the maple on cold sniff. I do get a cinnamon, but it's a really nice, um, not really heavy cinnamon. I don't know that I would say like cinnamon bark. Just smells like a really nice high end, like Ceylon cinnamon. It's, I think it's nice. Um, the white pumpkin, white pumpkin to me smells like softer than like that typical, like classic, like orange pumpkin scent. It's like it's a softer, more pow powdery version of a pumpkin. I like it. To, to me, this smells very much still like a foodie scent, for sure. It just makes me happy. <laughs> I love sticking my nose in anything that smells like remotely like pumpkin. I just think it smells so warm and cozy and delicious. And like, I just want to like eat a pumpkin pie. Man, basic white girl written all over me. Except, you know what I can't do anymore? The pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks. I just, over the years, mm, I can't. I can't. It's, it's like, it's too, it's too sickeningly sweet. And I used to only get like one pump in a grande. 
I think they put like four pumps in those darn drinks of that like sugary syrup and it's, it's just a little too much. Anyway, let's move on. Farm stand pumpkin. Ooh. This is kind of a very class. Sensi has one that smells just like this. Now I, I don't remember the name. I don't think it's pumpkin roll. Oh, I wish I had Lisa here. She would totally know. But this smells really good. <laughs> this one. Um, so the notes here are pumpkin puree, nutmeg, cinnamon stick, and sugar tonka bean. You know what this kind of reminds me of a little bit is the um, Bath and Body Works sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Somewhat similar type of fragrance to that, but way more pleasant than the Bath and Body Works version. Um, that one to me is it's just too much. This, this is just right. This is that classic like canned pumpkin smell, but you add those like fall spices to it and it's just success. It just smells good. It smells like the very epitome of fall. Um, I do get a little bit of that like sh sweeter tonka bean note in here. I just, I really like this one. It's, it's very classic. If you like these typical fall pumpkin scents, I feel like this is like Homeworks' take on like a very basic, but yummy and delicious classic pumpkin scent. Let's talk some apples. So we have Golden Harvest and we have Basket of Apples. All right. So basket of apples, let's start there. Very fresh, very sweet. Um, this to me kind of smells like a, it's like a cross between a Honeycrisp and a Cosmic Apple. Have you tried Cosmic Apples yet? They are like the Honeycrisp where they're very sweet and like not mealy at all. They have a nice crunch to them. That's, that's the apple note that I'm getting from here. But your, your notes here are uh, green apple, red apple, maple, vanilla, and sugar cane. Do I smell maple? Not really, but let's do, let's do this. No, I really don't get maple. I get mostly like sweet, sugary apple. Oh, it's just, it's really nice. And this one for me is actually quite strong on cold sniff. Now, I think it was, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was the one that Josh already reviewed from Touch the Fire twice. And he was saying that he got that like typical Bath and Body Works like kerosene type note from this one. So I'm hoping I don't get that because I that is my least favorite. When I light up a candle and I get that kerosene smell, it just like, ugh, it just ruins the fragrance for me and I immediately just chuck those candles. So I'm hoping I don't get that. So I'm definitely gonna light this one up pretty soon because I'm curious if I have the same experience as he did. Um, but on cold sniff, I really like what I'm smelling. Very crisp, juicy, fresh, sweet, very sweet apple notes in that one for sure. And this one here is Golden Harvest. Now this guy smells like a totally different apple scent. I do love the shade of this wax. This is like, ooh, that is so pumpkin. This one smells the most interesting to me on cold sniff and the one that I'm the most like, I don't know if I like this. I don't think I hate it, but I, I think I really need to burn this one to figure out whether I like it or not. Usually it's very easy for me to be like, yep, like it, nope, don't like it. Uh, very rarely am I like in between on a candle, but this one, like, I still don't know which way I'm gonna go. The notes are crisp apple, juicy pear, cinnamon, nutmeg, and brown sugar. So it sounds pretty basic. What I think, what I think might be throwing it off for me is mixing the apple and the pear. I don't think that I like apple and pear mixed together. I like pear on its own. I like apple on its own, but I don't think that I like apple and pear together. And I think that's what's, there's just something weird about this one to me.
But I think it's also going to be one of those ones that is going to smell very different when I'm burning it. So I think I need to burn this one. So I will reserve my judgment as of right now. But yeah, I, I really don't know which way this one is going to go. Anyway, I'll start burning these. Um, if you leave me a comment down below, let me know which three maybe you want me to tackle first. And then based off of like the most votes, I'll start burning through some of these false scents, at least for some initial reviews for you guys. So um, I don't think any of these are quite in danger yet of selling out. So um, I wouldn't really stress about that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you would like me to review first and I will get started on that and hopefully we'll start getting some initial fall post burn reviews here in the next couple of weeks. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Check out the description box down below for links on where to find everything. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and um, let me know what your favorite season is as well. <laughs> Most of you are probably going to say it's summer summer and um yeah that's okay if you do it's okay you're gonna stretch it out there buddy <laughs> alf is ready for me to um turn the camera off and to pay attention to him and i will so cute all right have a great rest of your day i'll see you in the next one take care Doodaloo.